<laughs> so let's go ahead and plot these points. Now, if you guys were looking into plotting these kind of points, you might look at this and say, I'm probably not very good at graphing these, especially with radicals. I'm not really sure, at least I like, understand this. However, I do recognize a point that I'm kind of familiar with, the 1 half kind of squared of 3 over 2, right? So I can probably like estimate where that is. If I kind of like drew the unit circle here, I remember that 1 half squared of 3 is on the unit circle, and it has an angle of 60 degrees, right? Or pi over 3. So it probably is like you know, somewhere right around there, right? Now, before I start trying to get to the next one, um, I realized this one, OK, that one's going to have a horizontal distance of 1. But crap, like I don't know the square root of 3. Like I can estimate it, right? But so then we look, is there a relationship here between this and this? Yeah, yeah it's just what? Twice just twice as long. So again, think about this. Like if the distance from here to here is 1, what do you think the distance from here to the origin is? 2. Units circle 2.0. And then this one, the relationship from here to here is? How far? What do you? Oh, sorry. I keep on forgetting to do this. Sorry. That's a three. 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 And what about this one? I think you guys get in the pattern by now. Eight. So this is what we call a polar graph. Okay. A polar graph has a series of rings, which basically represent the distance from the origin. Okay. And they, these rings are on an xy axis. Okay, So the xy axis is not like it's gone away. Um, it's just that now we're taking this ring. Now you can see, obviously, I do not have a very clear graph. So if I do ask you guys to graph polar, um, polar points or polar equations, you will be provided some graph paper, because sometimes these can be a little difficult. Um, but I just want you guys to see, I drew these lines so you guys can see the, these represent like the distance away. But again, like if we're just graphing points, like they're just the dots. Okay. Now, these are the x and y coordinates, right? These are what we call rectangular. These are what we call rectangular points. And rectangular points have coordinates x and y, which you guys are familiar with, right? So However, is there an easier way to graph these? Because if you didn't know that first one, like if I just randomly said to you, graph this, you probably like, I mean, you'd probably get a little close, but it would be kind of difficult. You'd have to like think a little bit on like, where is that? Like, what is that value? Correct? Especially if you didn't have a calculator. Wouldn't you guys agree? So this isn't really like very efficient. Like rectangular points are great to graph if it's like 2 comma 3. OK, over 2, up 3, like easy. But when you have radicals involved, it gets a little bit messy and it's harder to be exact. Would you guys agree? So what we can do, actually one last thing I talked about here. Um, so what we can do is we can represent these points with a relationship. Now, if you guys remember from vectors, like as long as we're like expanding these, like making these longer, like the angle does not change. Like, don't you guys agree that these points all kind of have like the same angle, standard angle, even though they're not actually a line, but they're like all the same distance away from the origin. Wouldn't you guys agree? So we can say they have the same angle, but they're not like a line. They're points. And that angle, we already said, is pi over 3, right, in radian form. And then also, the other thing that makes these unique from one another is their distance away from the origin. So what we can do is we can classify these points as far as their distance away from the origin, which is another way of saying their radius of their circle, and then the angle from the sta in standard form. So that is what we call polar points. And polar points are in the term of r time theta, which is also written up there on the board. So if I wanted to write these in, in polar points, I already know this, this is on the unit circle. So it has a radius of 1. one. And then the angle we already figured out was pi over 3. So look how easy it is for me to write the rest of these. This one is 2 pi over 3. This one is 3 pi over 3. 4 pi over 3. So you guys kind of see how like polar points can be convenient for us? Like it's pretty simple to go ahead and graph those. And 